want to welcome everyone uh, to our uh, student awards ceremony. We have three different awards that we're presenting today. Perseverance Award, the Distinguished Student Services Award, and the Dean's Golden Eagle Award. And so we've got a kind of a set program uh, where I'll just give an overview. We're going to, uh, I'll introduce what the award is, kind of what, how it's uh, awarded, and uh, the kind of a little bit about the process. Then I'm gonna ask the uh, faculty or staff member who is gonna speak about that individual to speak. Um, President Larson and I will have a few uh, remarks, and then we'll ask the student to speak briefly. And um, so we're really looking forward to this. Thank you all for being here and part of our uh, virtual, virtual celebration of our student leaders um, here on campus. We're really excited. So without further ado, I'm going to start out and we're going to talk about the Perseverance Award. The Perseverance Award is awarded to a student who is matriculated in a degree or certificate program and has demonstrated perseverance in sex, excuse me, successfully completing coursework for the academic year. And there were a number of different uh, folks that were um, nominated and uh, we have a, a wonderful candidate and I'm going to ask uh, Tasha to go ahead and introduce that person, talk a little bit about them, and then uh, we'll, we'll say a word or two as well. Go ahead, Tasha. Great, thank you, Brian. Um, so thank you for letting me say a few words here. What I'm gonna do is just read the nomination um, that, that I put in for Melinda, because I think it really sums up why she is receiving this award today. So I would like to nominate Melinda Manzo for EMCC's 2020 Award for Perseverance. Melinda is a TRIO student who has faced and overcome a multitude of challenges and barriers during her career at EMCC. She first began college as a post-traditional student in fall of 2009 in the Computer Repair Technology Program. Oh, mm -hmm. Due to unforeseen life circumstances, Melinda withdrew in Completed only 12 credits toward her degree. In fall 2018, after seven years away, Melinda re-enrolled in the liberal studies program with hopes of completing what she had started so many years before. Unfortunately, just as Melinda was trying to establish her new routine as a college student, she experienced a serious health issue that resulted in a long hospital stay and led to her needing a medical withdrawal from her spring 19 classes. Over the summer, Melinda was able to stabilize her health situation and reached back out to TRIO to re-enroll in classes and change her major to digital graphic design. Since returning to EMCC in fall 19, Melinda achieved Dean's List for the first time in her college career. Melinda is thriving in her new program and continues to persevere while managing a chronic illness. She's in the Success Center almost every day, seeking help from tutors, mentors, and other supports that, are, that will help her be successful. Additionally, Melinda was just welcomed into EMCC's Phi Theta Kappa Group, an organization dedicated to the recognition and encouragement of scholarship among associate's degree students. Melinda has persevered through many challenges and barriers, and is well on her way to completing her degree. I hope you will consider her for the Award for Perseverance because she has demonstrated so much determination to achieve her degree. It is truly inspiring. Thank you, Tasha. So uh, I just want to say congratulations to Melinda. I think it's just a, it's a great, it's a great day. I was part of the conversation where I uh, talked about different folks and there, I, I will want to point out that there are so many folks that have been, uh, you know, in similar kinds of situations here at, at Eastern Community College and, but your nomination really stood out. And so congratulations. Melinda, we are so happy for you and we are so proud of you and we wish you the very best as you continue on in your studies and we are here for you when you need us. And Tasha, thank you for that really lovely nomination. 
I'd like to chime in if I can, because I met Melinda when she first started her academic career at the university. I believe it was called University College of Bangor at the time. And um, I remember cleaning out my office one day about a year ago and coming across all my old notes. And I remember one of my notes to her was, you're just a fabulous student. You have wonderful potential, but life's gotten in your way right now and you need to address that first and come back to us later. So it's been a treat to have Melinda back in the fold and in my classes over the last couple of years at the community college. Thank you, Melinda. Thank you. Melinda, do you want to say a few words to the group? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. This has been an honor. And Tasha, thank you for the sweet words and kind words that you said. Um, I want to thank Tasha for being such a support when I need any, anybody to talk to. Um, TRIO has been amazing and tutoring has been the key to my success. And also, um, yeah, Annie, you've been a wonderful teacher and um, I really thank you for all your support that you've given me. So thank you so much. Sure thing. Okay, well, thank you so much. Um, if there's anyone else that wants to uh, say a couple of words, you're welcome to at this time. I want to say congratulations to Linda as well. I'm so excited that she is part of the digital graphic design program and that um, we're going to have her for another year. Yay. Hi, Melinda. This is Glenna. Um, I'll just reiterate what I just sent you in a message. Absolutely honored to be part of your journey and couldn't be more proud of um, all you've accomplished. Okay, well, so let's move on to our next award, which is for our Distinguished Student Services Award. And this award is uh, given to a student, or it's awarded to a student who is matriculated in a degree program. They are either graduating or within six credits of completion, and they show that, that they possess the drive to succeed in all aspects of their academic career. They also have a high GPA and have shown dedication to the college community as well as the surrounding community. So to, uh, to kind of present this award and the nomination that was created, uh, I'm gonna actually ask Tasha again to uh, share that with us. Great, thank you, Brian. I really feel so honored to be able to to uh, welcome these students right now because it means so much uh, to me that, that they've been able to receive these awards. So I'm gonna do the same thing as I did uh, with Melinda and kind of read the nomination for Ashley. I really think it sums it up. <clears throat> I'd like to nominate Ashley Villanueva Valesco for EMCC's Distinguished Student Service Award. Ashley is an outstanding individual. Not only has Ashley excelled in her academic career in the Human Services Program at EMCC, but she has fully embraced her student leadership roles on campus with commitment, determination, and passion. Ashley is currently a TRIO peer mentor, and in this position, she has demonstrated excellence in leadership and community service through her sense of care for each of her mentees, organizing programs that celebrate multiculturalism and diversity, and being a champion for those whose voices are often unheard. She's also served as a resident assistant, during which she enhanced the cultural competency of residents greatly through events like her Dio, Dia de los Muertos event, which was an excellent partnership with the Culinary Arts Department. She is constantly seeking to learn new information in order to be the best possible service to her peers, which she sees as her duty. Ashley has been working to find ways to help address food insecurity, both on campus and off campus. She has been a role model to many students. English is her second language and she is Latina, something she celebrates every day, which is nothing short of bold in a politically charged time in a primarily white state. So many people look up to Ashley, from her favorite little niece, to the residents she served, to her trio mentees, to all the people in her classes, and to everyone who needs a reminder that they are valid and that they matter 
and that they should always work hard to achieve their goals and dreams, whatever they may be. Thank you, Tasha, that's great. So um, I just wanna say congratulations again to you, Ashley. I think, you know, for me, I, go down to the Student Success Center and, you know, walk in and just, you're always a presence there. It's strange to be in this space and not see you in this space. Here we are in the sweat conference room right now. And, you know, just the gentle, positive way that you interact with everyone, I think is just, it's just such a great example to all of the other students around, but to all of us as well. So I wanna thank you and congratulate you on this well-deserved award. Congratulations, Ashley. We're so proud of you. And you really, you have made a difference for other students here at EMCC. And that means so much to us. And we know that you're going to have continued success wherever you go and whatever you may do. But thank you for what you've done and what you've achieved and how you've continued to carve that path out for others. You are a rock star. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Sherry. Thank you. <laughs> Would you like to say a few words? Uh, absolutely, of course. Um, uh, I first want to thank, uh, want to first and foremost congratulate the rest of the uh, nominees. You guys are amazing people. Um, and um, uh, I think the one thing that sticks to my head is um, it takes a village uh, for through EMCC, through my mentors, um, Tasha, Chris, Mike, the trio team, Doug, Deb, um, thank you so much for um, being able to find that potential in me that I didn't see in myself. And through you guys, um, I was able to be the leader and the person I am today. Um, and I just want to thank you all, seriously. Um, for being able to be that person for me. So that way I can be that person towards other people. Thank you, that's wonderful. Are there other folks that would like to chime in with thoughts or, or uh, comments? I'd just like to say congratulations. And I also just want to say thank you. Our students are still talking about that culinary arts event. They had so much fun with it. Uh, they learned so much. And it's so great to see a student from another program come into culinary arts and bring us their expertise. So thank you and congratulations. Thank you. I would love to congratulate um, Ashley. What a wonderful transformation I have seen in this young lady. Um, so she was among my very first cohort when I started here, uh, teaching here at Eastern Maine Community College. And um, she was so quiet in class. And I spent a lot of time thinking about how I might kind of draw her out a little bit. Um, and the transformation that I have seen from when she first started in the human services program until now has been um, absolutely amazing. Um, she is the very definition of the blossoming student. Um, I am immensely proud that you've been selected for this award, Ashley. It's absolutely well-deserved. Um, and I wish you the very, very best. Thank you so very much, Doug. I appreciate um, everything you've done for me and um, thank you for being part of my journey. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our last award, and that is the Dean's Golden Eagle Award. It is awarded to a student who has matriculated in a degree or certificate program, and that that student has had notable efforts in community service, both on the EMCC campus, but also in the surrounding community. And to what I'm looking for, is Sally there? <clears throat> Are you on I'm mute? Unmute yourself, Sally. <laughs> yep, I'm right here. Great. <laughs> yep. so, Sorry. 
Sally, would you like to go ahead and present the uh, nomination that you wrote for our I, Dean's Golden Eagle Award winner? I would be honored. I was, uh, I'm having printer problems, so I'm going to have to read it off my computer, so I don't know if you'll be able to see me, but I need to read the letter. I am honored to know uh, Molly Clifford. I've had her in my uh, clinical situations several times, and she's, she's an exceptional student, an exceptional nurse, and she'll be great. Um, so the letter, um, it is with great honor to nominate Molly Clifford, student nurse from EMCC, for the Dean's Golden Eagle Award. Molly is a current senior at Eastern Maine Community College's nursing program. As such, she is an active participant in the program's Student Nurse Association, where she was voted to serve as president. The Student Nurse Association was non-existent, but Molly is building it into an association with the hopes of it continuing and building long into the future. She serves an example as an example to the other seniors and freshmen alike in being a member of the American Nurses Association, the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, and is on the Dean's List in February of 2019, an honorable mention list in January 2018, June 2018, May 2019, and January 2020. As a student, Molly is committed, dedicated, and serves as a mentor and example to other nursing students. Clinically, Molly is kind, caring, and compassionate to all. She serves as a strong patient advocate and actively seeks to help peers if needed. Molly exemplifies the Eastern Maine Community College Nursing Program's mission and statement to Eastern Maine Medical Center, where she is currently practicing in her clinical rotation. In her community, Molly is involved with Bangor YMCA, National Ski Patrol, the Bangor Humane Society, and the American Red Cross. Molly deserve, uh, I'm sorry, Molly desires to serve others and does so in a professional and caring manner. She's an asset to her school and community alike. Molly would be an excellent candidate for the Dean's Golden Eagle Award. Thank you, that's such a lovely nomination. And um, it was wonderful to, to see uh, Molly among the many talented folks that were nominated for the Dean's Golden Eagle Award. And uh, I had a little bit of a chance to catch up with Molly. I knew Molly a little bit from National Ski Patrol and uh, had learned a little bit more about her, uh, her time between between finishing high school and now, and learned a lot of things that she's had many interesting jobs and paths and that have led her to where she is today. And I think it's, uh, I think it's also a great, great example of perseverance. Um, and so her opportunities to work all the way from the TSA to banking and then landing, she said, in the ICU in the Eastern Maine, uh, uh, Eastern Maine Medical Center uh, and, and really discovering that, that nursing and taking care of folks and working in that profession, that fast-paced profession, was that she really wanted to do. And it seems like she's really found the right place for her. Um, so I want to say congratulations to you, Molly. It's well-deserved honor. And I know that you're going to go on to do really wonderful things in the future, uh, just like you already are. President Larson? Congratulations, Molly. What a set of accomplishments already. So thank you for giving so much to your community. Thank you for um, being here at Eastern Maine Community College and joining one of the you know, great programs that we have here at the institution and making such an impression with, this, with our um, faculty and with our staff. You really are such a great example of all of our wonderful graduates and we can't wait to see what you do next. So congratulations and nicely done. Yay! Molly, would you like to say a few words? Sure, thank you. Uh, first, thank you to President Larson and Vice President Dorr for having us all here today. I know it's a struggle to get everyone together when we're not allowed to go anywhere. Uh, and congratulations, Melinda and Ashley, on your awards. And thank you for staying all the way through to see me get my award as well. I appreciate that. Um, Sally, thank you so much for all your kind words and all of your support. 
uh, through this entire program and to all the faculty who are here from the nursing program. Thank you for coming and I can't say enough good things about our program. You guys are so supportive and I certainly couldn't have done it without you. And I see some of my ski patrol friends have, have joined us as well. So thank you guys for joining us. Thanks. Um, I'm really honored to be a part of this nursing program. It's been such a great experience and I look forward to um, demonstrating all the things I've learned in the workforce when I start working uh, in just a few weeks. So thank you so much. Do you want to let folks know where you're headed? Uh, yes, I'm going to the intensive care unit at St. Joe's. Thank you. Congratulations. So um, I, I don't know if there are others that would like to uh, say a couple of words about Molly or about anyone else, I guess. Uh, we did, you did it earlier. I'd like to say a couple words about Molly. Um, Molly started her journey in the EMCC nursing program at the same time that I started as a faculty member. Um, so Molly was certainly one of the first students that I really connected with in my new job. And when I met her, I instantly knew that she was somebody who had a story, who had overcome personal adversity, and she was going to use that to not only make an impact on our program and on the people around her in our school, um, but to make an impact on all of her patients' lives and every connection that she makes, Molly has an impact on that individual. And that will be, make a huge difference um, in her career as a nurse. So I'm very proud of um, not only what she's overcome personally, but how she has made it her goal to invest her time and energy in serving other people despite all of that. And I think that will truly make her a wonderful nurse. And also being a nurse in the ICU at St. Joe's, I'm very much looking forward to Molly being my colleague in just a few short weeks. So I will see you when we clock in at uh, 0700. <laughs> Thank you, Vanessa. I'd like to say some things about Molly. Um, Molly, um, it, she she cracks me up. She'll come into my office and she is such a perfectionist. She wants everything to be exactly right. So she'll come in and she'll clarify stuff with me and just to make sure that everything is spot on and perfect. And I have to say, I absolutely love students who do that because for me, being um, a nurse is all about the details and making sure that things are done well and properly. And Molly exemplifies that 100%. All the time she was doing that and I loved it. So congratulations, hon. Good job. And I'm excited for you to get out there in the workforce. Thank you, Pilar, for everything you've done for us. You're welcome. My pleasure. Anyone else that wants to say a word about, about Molly or about any of our candidates this morning before we close up our ceremony? Okay. I, I, Jane would be proud of me for this wait time, which is very difficult with a bunch <laughs> of people on the screen. <laughs> but I want to just say thank you to everyone for joining in on this call today. I want to congratulate our three amazing nominees and award recipients today. Uh, just a round of applause again for everybody. And, um, and I think this is another just great example of the EOCC community. We've got folks from all over the college here that are on this call. It's just wonderful to see everyone and it's wonderful to hear about these great stories of our amazing students. So thank you all. Thank you all for coming today. And best of luck on any final exams that students have and getting finished up for everybody for this semester. All right. Nice job, everybody. Congratulations. Bye -bye.